Hi folks, um, I'm recording this video for a friend of mine, uh, but I think it's going to be much more widely applicable, so I'm going to put it up on the website as well. Now, um, this is for somebody who's getting a bit of numbness in their fingers. There's a lot of things that can be causing that, so it's always best to start from a proper diagnosis. Um, but one of the things that can be a factor uh, is some tightness around some of these neck muscles here. So I'm going to show a couple of exercises working with that. Uh, obviously, if you get any pain when you're doing this, please stop and see a professional. Um, and if you're getting a lot of neck pain as well at the same time, it's best to get that checked out first because there might be something else going on there. Okay, so the first one I'm going to do is a little bit of a neck stretch. Now, I'm always careful when I'm stretching the neck because you can do more harm than good if you go about it the wrong way. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actively take my head to one side. I'm going to put my head, hand over the top. I'm not going to really yank on my head. I'm not going to pull on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push back against my hand. And so I'm going to engage these muscles here. I'm just going to hold that for a slow count of 10 seconds or so. And then when I've done that, I'm going to relax and I can gently encourage it a bit further. Again, I'm not really going to try and force it. I'm just going to take it a little bit further there. And then I can push back again. And then just relax and then take it down towards the side. If I want to make that a bit stronger on these muscles. I can put this hand behind the back there. That just keeps that shoulder down, make sure I really get into this area. And then I can repeat the same thing on the other side, and hand behind the back, head down to the side, take it as far as it wants to go, just push back, and then relax, and just gently coax it. So again, that's really important, I'm not forcing that. Okay, so that's number one. So, Number two, um, this one is um, for the nerves that go all the way down the arm. I'm going to try and get that nerve moving more smoothly. I'm going to take the hand out to the side right, and keeping the shoulder down so I don't want to be hitching my shoulder up. Yeah? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch my fingers back, but as I do that, I tip my head to the same side as the arm and then I come back the other way. So I'm moving my hand and the head at the same time. Just do a few of those and then obviously you can repeat that on the other side. So tipping the hand, stretching the fingers back at the same time as I take the head to the same side. Okay, so a few of those. Then the final exercise I'm going to do is, it's actually a strengthening exercise, but it's for the deep muscles in the front of the neck. And these are the muscles that we want to be working to take some of the strain away from some of the other more superficial muscle groups. Okay, so I'm going to do this lying down. Now, with my head flat on the couch, looking up at the ceiling, I'm going to keep the head touching, but pull my chin towards my chest at the same time. So I'm flattening, flattening the back of the neck towards the couch. And I'm trying to keep my shoulders as relaxed as I can. Keep breathing. And then relax. Now, the problem with that exercise is that a lot of people don't find it very difficult. And it doesn't really feel like you're doing something, anything, some of the time. So, uh, for my combat sports... Um, athletes in particular, I like to make this one a bit harder. Yeah. So I get them to sh scoop down towards the end of the bench that they're on, and we're going to do exactly the same thing, keeping the head in a nice straight line but off the bench. Okay. So I don't want to lift my head up here. I'm not. I'm not lifting my head forwards. I'm trying to keep it in a, as much as possible a straight line of the bench, but I'm just putting that chin tuck in. And that would usually start to feel a little bit harder. Okay, now obviously I want to be a bit careful with that one. Um, if you start getting any pain when you're doing it, then stop immediately. And do start with just a very short amount of time 
first of all and you can gradually build that up but don't try and do it for ages it's not one that you want to um, really try and be a hero with first of all um, and the other thing to watch out for is that you're not poking your chin forward so it's very easy to start doing this when your neck gets tired yeah so make sure it just stays tucked in while you're doing that exercise so there's a few things to have a go at um, as always like I say if it's not working for you if you're still getting the symptoms or you're getting any pain or anything else is going on definitely see a professional this is absolutely not a substitute for medical advice um, but there are a few relatively easy um, safe exercises for you to try